morning, everybody. Day three. Heading out right from camp. Uh, this is where Brad and Sheldon have been going uh, the last two days. And they've been on or heard or been around elk back here um, both days. Uh, Sheldon, uh, Sheldon and Brad have to go home today, so they're actually not even hunting. They're just packing up their stuff and leave, heading out. So from here on out, it's just gonna be me and my dad um, at camp. And yeah, we'll see what happens. Go up this road, it goes a little ways, a couple miles back. Let's see if we can get our spike. Well, we uh, hiked up the mountain. We came from way down there. Now we're up on this knob and uh, kind of blast that hillside over there. Everything's way out of range, but if I can at least locate some elk over there, then this afternoon or whatever, we can go after them or whatever. So, or later on, just know like, hey, there's elk on that hill too. So, anyway, just gonna sit here and uh, glass for a minute. We're gonna work our way down the back side of this knob and uh, back down the mountain and uh, back to camp, basically. Dang it, where'd he go? I just saw a coyote. Really? Yeah. How far? Way over there? Uh, like way on that hill like 2,000 yards he was standing man he's gone now he's standing right on that knob oh just saw coyote guys and then I was gonna shut the camera off glassed and then I went to sh turn the camera back on to show you guys the coyote and then he's he is gone. I can't, uh, I don't see him anymore. You think you found a goat on the rocks? Alright. Sure, but Let's take a gander. What part? So straight across, straight across, uh, these rocks. See the, um, okay, see that, the rock face right here? Mm -hmm. Don't go way up, just okay. low. Yeah. Just look at the top of the, these trees in front of us, right in the middle of that rock face. Is it like, you see the two dead trees? Is it like by those? See, like these trees that come to a point? Is yeah. that what you're talking about? Like up this timber to where it comes to a point? So like if you go through this gap, see this gap <laughs> between these trees? Like, oh, right through, yes. So go right up through this gap. Yeah, and then it goes to a point. The, then the, it goes, see those, then there's those three trees up on that hill, the three green ones, one, two, three. Okay, yeah. Go to your left, uh -huh. and then come down to the rock face. You'll see a little white dot right there. You can see it. So like if, uh, okay. Is it see. almost in the trees there? No, um, it's on the rock. Okay, let me try to. Explain. Oh, I see it. I actually, that I see is it. a goat. I, I see it. I guarantee you that's a goat. It's so white. It's on the, uh, it's on this side, like of that gap right yeah, there. Yeah, on the left. On the left. Yeah, you see the white dot? Yeah, I see the white dot. I'm pretty sure it's a goat. Pretty sure it's not. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... Make sure that's the right thing, but it looks like just a top of the tree. <laughs> really? Yeah. Here. Can I look? Yeah. Just to make sure we're looking at the same thing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's just the top of that tree. And I can move on. I might not even be in the right spot, but that's really hard to find it. Yeah. You're, you're on it.
That is a goat. <laughs> That's a tree goat. Okay. <laughs> That's a tree goat. Good eye. It okay. does from here just look like a little white dot, but I figured it was. Because it's so white. Mm-hmm. It is pretty white. But that's what it would look like on the rock. It would look white like that. Yep. Not a goat. Alright, done with our little glassing session. Time to hike back down over the hill. Cool. Got dirt in my mouth. So you can find one on the way down. All right, y'all, made it back to camp. Nothing. Oh, we did, we spooked a grouse, um, which is, uh, if you've ever done that, when you're walking and it's all quiet and then a thunder chicken just explodes from nowhere, that's a, that'll get your heart going. But uh, that happened. But other than that, uh, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Didn't hear nothing, didn't see nothing. It's been about like every other, only the first morning, the first, our opening morning, we had that cow run across the, we saw that cow across the skyline. That's the only, like, walking we've done and seen an elk. The other elk we saw yesterday was driving around looking for new areas. So, we're going to eat a little lunch slash breakfast and then uh, go out and try and find another elk. Or try and, try and find an elk. Alright, y'all. Lunch break, brunch break is over. Two o'clock. Going for these uh, afternoon elk. Hopefully, they finally show themselves on one of our walks. If not, it's still a fun nature hike with the muzzleloader. So, right? It's a good, good gun <laughs> hike. A good gun hike. Yeah. It's a muzzle hike. Yeah. I like it. guys you can't tell in the camera that doesn't look very steep but it's steep it's uphill both ways no. it is steep like everything over here that we've hiked you just climb mountains and uh yeah so i'm just gonna sit here and breathe for a second and a moo cow I wish the elk would stand like that. <laughs> Not a spike. <laughs> All right, wrong. Wrong species. Wrong species. Better walk. Sorry. Uh, shucks. That was, that was kind of fun. to just come to us I think we've been just trying to go to them we got to let them come to us probably smarter you know one thing up here is uh, there's not a lot of spots to glass one of my favorite and most productive ways of finding animals is to glass big portions of area and uh, there's not really a lot of that up here it's like kind of looks like this so you just have uh, you have trees, and then you have like the the big rock face like that for mountain goats looking, but I don't think any elk are gonna be up there. It's like everywhere you, I mean, there's a couple spots where you have like this, oh shoot, you guys got whited out, huh, didn't I? There we go. You got this mountain over here, but that's like way far away, way, way far away. And, uh, not really worth glassing because I can't get over there. <laughs> or I don't, I mean, it would take me all day to get over there. 
But we did see the moo cows. That was, that was the most excitement I've had in a while. Walking. We're seeing, we're seeing moo cows. <laughs> and hopefully on the way back down, we see an actual elk. Alright guys, another another nice hike with the muzzleloaders. Only uh only the two cows. Moo cows, not even elk cows. These were uh free ranging cattle up there. That's all we saw. Um yeah. That was it. So on to the next spot I guess. Last 30 minutes, new road. Let's see what uh, see what this one brings. That one's a spike. He's gonna cross the road. Get up there. Get up there. They're gonna cross. Right there. Went up that hill. I just saw him. That was a spike. He just went up that hill. He just crossed to the left. Up there. Oh, it's okay. We didn't even know. You couldn't even. I mean, you, you saw him. You like, saw him and he took off. It's okay. Guys, that turned really quick. I literally walked two minutes, not even 30 seconds up the road. And I'm like, oh, there's a cow right there. We're looking at her and then she kind of starts walking off. And Dad's like, where's the rest of them? Looks to our left, just a move just a little bit to the left. He's like, there they are. And they turn as soon as they like they kind they kind of start spooking and one of them's a giant spike. I mean, he had to have like f f four foot spikes. <laughs> they were so tall. Anyway, but he didn't stay there long. I mean, he just booked off, so Dad couldn't get a shot. Oh, that was crazy. I got Western real quick. Well, finally w walked the road and found some elk. That was cool. How much time do we got? Um, yeah, see. like 13 minutes. That's it. Mm. 
We'll just walk up there a little bit. Maybe we'll get a. Maybe we can see into the timber a little bit. Yeah. We got elk over there on that hill, guys. I'm gonna do that. Oh, that's a bull. That thing is huge. That's a big bull. That one in the middle. He's. Oh, there's a spike to the right. That's not the same spike. That that spike to the right is not the same spike that we. But that's a big bull. That we got a a different herd. This is not the same herd. There's a spike in this group over here. They're like 600 yards away. Giant bull. I mean, a really nice bull. Like a nice six, really nice six point, a spike, but he's just like your average, like, I don't know, two foot spike. Not the same, the, I'm telling you, the one that we saw, I don't know if I got him on camera, but he had like literally four foot spikes. They were so tall. Finally found the elk. This is how I expected it to be every time we walk, is to walk a road and find elk. All right, daylight is fading fast. To get to those elk over there, I mean, it's probably a half mile, maybe a mile to get to loop around to where they're at. We, we just wouldn't get there in time. It's funny guys, cause we left that last gate and uh, I wasn't really sure where to go. And dad was like, you wanna go to that gate? And I was like, no, there's probably somebody there. And we don't really have that much time. He's like, well, let's just go look. I'm like, okay. So then we go drive up here. And like I told you, I was like literally a minute, 30 seconds into walking down here, we get on those elk. And then we just found another herd that's two herds back here. That's uh that's awesome. Alright, that would be cool to get that. That is the, one of the biggest spike elk I've ever seen. Yeah, I'd like to get him. Yeah, that's a mega spike. He is. 